Hello everyone. So in today's video, we will study some path of very special rays. And these rays are very useful when we draw ray diagrams of spherical mirrors. Now why these rays? Because uh, these rays are very easy to deal with. And if we understand why these rays behave like this, we, uh, we will need to work a lot lesser. So let us see what will be the path of these rays. Okay, so here I have drawn a yeah, concave mirror and marked the center of curvature. Now, of course, this length will be the radius from the center to the pole of the mirror. Okay. Now, another spe special point I talked about was the focus. So, the focus was R by 2. So, halfway between center and the pole. Okay. So, let me construct the half. Yeah, that's how you construct it. Oops. Yeah. You get two points. This. Yeah. Doing these two. This is the focus of the mirror. Again, I can I can rub these lines now. Now let us consider a very special ray, a ray which is parallel to the principal axis, this axis. So let me draw this one. Okay, so yeah, good enough. All right. Now better and there. We consider talking about this one, this ray right over there. And how do we get these rays? So if your source is like really, really far away from the mirror, then the rays are nearly parallel. So we need to see how this ray will interact. Now, if you remember from a previous pre previous video, I told you that all the parallel rays, rays coming parallel, will meet or appear to meet at the focus. So this ray also must pass through the focus some something like this this is not that's how this ray will go so it will come from say really really far from infinity bounce and reflect from the mirror and pass through the focus now what will happen if a ray originates from the focus see we know one thing that light retraces its path right because if it doesn't it will violate the law of reflection so if a ray originates from the focus it must be yeah right again parallel to the principal axis now this was for concave mirror what will happen if i use this result or a convex mirror in this case. Okay, so let us take this to be our center. And now we can draw the mirror. Now this will be our polished surface, so this will be reflecting. And we are considering a light ray which is mm, yeah. parallel to the principal axis what will happen now again in the case of convex mirror uh, it will appear to come from focus so if you are say somewhere over there it will look as if it's coming from there from the focus and of course the ray can't go through the mirror so it will reflect in such a manner that if, if you retrace its path, it will appear to emerge from the focus. It will go something like this. Okay, the ray coming parallel again, in the case of a convex mirror, it will appear as if it's coming from the focus. Right? Now, what will happen if again conversely if this ray is coming 
something like this then it will be parallel to the principal axis so it retraces its path now another very important thing is when the, so this is the setup the center of curvature the focus are concave mirror now what if the ray passes through the center of curvature another very special point so let us say here is an object okay somewhere over there and this emits emits light in all directions what if one ray goes through the center of curvature something like this what will happen hmm? now if you know properties of tangents to the circle we know that say this is a part of a circle okay and let me draw this a bit clearer so this is a part of a circle and if we draw tangent to this point the this and i connect this point to the radius now this tangent will be perpendicular to the radius and if we consider this plane entire plane then the radius will become the normal now if you again come back to this mirror the thing is that so since the light ray is extremely very very thin it is as good as reflecting from a very 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 small infinitesimally small short mirror and again this mirror is going to be straight and this will be along the tangent to this point now this ray is as good as the radius of the circle because it is coming from the center of curvature and again this will become 90 degree from our properties of tangents now if this incident light is right uh, coming from the normal okay so this is the plane let us say this is the reflecting surface this is the normal 90 degrees and light is coming in this direction Our angle of incidence will become right zero. Therefore, our angle of reflection will also become zero, and the light will reflect backwards. That's what reflect angle of reflection being zero degree really means. So the light will reflect backwards. So it will retrace its path. Now, again, let us consider this one ray. This ray, ray which is through the principal axis. this ray again is passing through the center of curvature so this one will come back now what if we consider a convex mirror so this is a setup once again this is a convex mirror and how will the ray pass through the center of curvature well it won't pass through the mirror so it will go as if it is going towards the center of curvature so this is the path it will take and if we extend this ray backwards it will there you go cross the center of curvature now again this if we draw tangent to this point the point where it is reflecting this will be 90 degrees so this angle will also be 90 degrees and it is as good as coming from the normal so again a light ray coming from the object towards the center of curvature even in the case of a convex mirror will reflect itself so it will just travel back and again let us consider this one if it's if there is along the principal axis so the ray will come hit the pole and retrace its path so now that you have understood how these rays a ray passing parallel to the uh, principal axis passing through the center of curvature and passing through the focus these rays how these rays interact with the mirror in the next videos we will see how can we draw ray diagrams of spherical mirrors